empty hospital. Do you imagine pulling up and the, <laughs> the driveway is blocked off? Hospital relocated. lifted since Missoula when we were on our road trip and prior to lifting in Missoula I can't remember the last time I lifted <laughs> so I'm um, trying to get back in a habit of doing some regular exercise and training and so I felt like lifting today but what's crazy is this kettlebell feels so light after doing the, the deadlifts and squats and I just need to lift more because then I feel strong. <laughs> I'm in the middle of making broccoli. I'm making lunch. I have bacon going, some eggs seasoned with some stuff, and I have a salad with all of our CSA vegetables. I'm doing a gut permeability test today, so I have to to not have certain foods. So I didn't cook the eggs in butter, but I used the leftover bacon fat, and now I'm gonna have more to refill my jar. This is our quick throw together lunch, and it is just, you know, salad, eggs, bacon, and I'm just serving it right in the serving bowl because no need to waste a plate. <laughs> Gotta make sure the mic's on. <laughs> so we're gonna jump on Skype right now. Um, our main company is Spire, and we do this mentorship thing where it's essentially like a little like business coaching where we'll jump on Skype with people. Um, if you're interested, I'll put the link probably like right here. But yeah, it's uh, we do the call, Dave and I, and this is Dave. Hey there. It's like Inception, you can see the camera. Yep, and that's mm -hmm. that Luke. Mm-hmm, but yeah, so that's Dave. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna jump on there now. We are on our way to a rock show, something we haven't done in a really long time. So we're off to see a band called Eyes Set to Kill. It's a chick metal band. So we found Eyes Set to Kill when we were in Austin and we stumbled across a Sick Puppies show and then this is the first time we're going to see them since that show. We used to go to a ton of shows. We would spend most weekends at some sort of rock show, enough that um, we'd see bands like Disturb so much that their guitarist Dan Donegan used to actually recognize us, which was kind of fun. In the Disturbed era is when we used to go to a lot of shows, so I don't know, early to mid 2000s. It's a challenge to break through the noise for any type of art today. The only reason we know I Set to Kill exist is because we're pretty big fans of Sick Puppies. There's so much that goes through word of mouth and we went to the Sick Puppy show to see them. In doing that, we were trusting their recommendation that the opening act would be cool, and they were. There's no way to buy your way through the noise anymore, whether it's music, any sort of other art, even most business. What direction is that like facing? <laughs> We've never been to this venue, and what? You think? It's a Tuesday night. We're somewhere in the suburbs, and we're not really sure if there's going to be very many people here based on how many cars are around. I can see your IDs. Can't find me. <laughs> so we're exploring at our um, almost private show. How many people would you say are here? Uh, 10 to 15, maybe 20. <laughs> if we're counting the bands, maybe a little more. <laughs>
two people in on the 4th of July in a place and they did really awesome on stage for being like barely anybody here. I just can't believe this. I can't believe there's no one here. <laughs> I was complaining earlier about all the big shows because I hate them. <laughs> I don't go to big shows. I like the small ones like this. But obviously this can't last. So this is why they don't happen anymore. <laughs> Despite not having barely anyone there, here we can walk across yeah. the street. And pretty much no one in this town, here look around, there is nobody around. That might be vomit inducing because I spun too fast. Jesus! <laughs> Let's go walk down in the middle of the street and do this because we can. Kaleido was awesome. The first band was awesome. What was their name? Damn it, run I forget it. Run to cover? Yeah, run to cover, I think. They did a really great um, mashup. Um, yeah. I said to kill was great, and Alien Ant Farm closed the show, so it was. Yeah, so that was actually a lot of fun, even though there was barely anyone there. Yeah. Anyone from Chicago might remember Freak from uh, Rock 103.5. He was there, and he sort of gave a little Intro. announcement about everything being new. Yeah. How the the place just got brand new owners, and everything's changed. So I guess the show was not advertised but at the same time it made us really think that rock was dead <laughs> yeah. yeah but but it was I, fun yeah i'd definitely come back to the place it's a really great place so. <laughs>